Hello everyone. You've probably guessed that all your apps, especially those you install from Google Play, collect various information about how you use your phone, how you use specific apps, how much time you spend using them, and even where you are. They typically conduct extensive analytics. And most importantly, all this accumulated data can be sent to the app developer without your knowledge. And then, of course, they analyze it. They check various metrics and send them to you. Of course, your apps are full of ads. Now I'll show you one of the harmful things you need to disable on your phone to avoid this. Look, we need to go to the standard settings, go to my apps, then to the games section. At the top, tap the three dots. Mine says hide system apps, but you tap show all apps. And then, to save yourself scrolling, type in Google. The list will show a lot of different services. I'll show you one of the services that some people completely disable because it collects a lot of information, and even Google itself warns about it. Here I scroll down to Google Services Framework. Click here. At a minimum, you can check your traffic. Look, I have zero traffic right now because I have a flash drive. It's considered internal storage, and all these apps aren't using anything right now, so it shows zero. I'll leave a link in the description on how to do this in case anyone needs it. I wanted to show you that when you go into the app permissions, you have permission to do a lot. Look, if we go into the permissions and find accounts and contacts, edit contacts, get phone status data, write instant messages. This is a very interesting feature, viewing instant messages. That is, each app can send instant messages to each other without even waiting for your attention. Getting data from the internet, viewing network connections, and viewing connections in general. Here you really have to scroll through such a huge list, really go back. Go to the permissions again, and here it's enabled to disable sending instant messages. These two features should be disabled to prevent this program from collecting information from all your apps and sending various reports that you don't even know about. Disable them first. So these are two settings that should be completely disabled. Some people even disable this service completely. And at the bottom, it even says that to protect your data, we will revoke the permissions granted to this app. But some people on the forums are writing that disabling this thing can cause the Play Store itself to malfunction. So if you really do download various apps from the Play Store very often, then disable it. Just these two settings that I showed you. But if you don't use the Play Store at all, then I would completely disable everything. Anyway, let me know in the comments.